Good morning, happy Monday. It is so quiet in here. It is like before 7 a.m. and I'm at work very early because it is the first school day of October and I just wanted to come in and do a bunch of the things that I've been meaning to do but I have no time for. If you are new, definitely hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my teaching and lifestyle related videos. I'm a fourth year teacher teaching third grade again this year. I made a list yesterday of all the things I want to get done. I know they're probably not all going to get done. I have my priorities. The main priority is making sure our lesson for science is fully prepped and ready to go. I already printed most of the things we need. I just need to take some string that was provided by Mystery Science and like literally make these. Lesson has been taking forever and it says as part of the prep for the lesson to do it yourself like the teacher so so basically you attach the string to each piece and it's going to show how big a step was um, from that specific dinosaur and then the kids are going to take eight steps while running and see if they can outrun a dinosaur so it is a pretty fun lesson but there's just like a lot of like random prep involved i also need to change out our calendar to october and some other miscellaneous things <laughs> took down our rule frames that were hanging up there. One of them shattered like on the third day of school. I moved them to the windows and I just need to get another frame to put our respect property rule in and I'll put it over there. For my outfit today, I am just wearing this black jumpsuit from Timu and it has like skinny straps, which would have been fine. Um, but it's actually gonna be like 70 later, I think, but I knew this morning I would be chilly. So I just put on this teacher tee and I tied it in a knot. And my sandals are these platform sandals from Amazon. I always have all the Amazon stuff I mentioned linked in my storefront down below. And that is my outfit for today. We have our morning slides ready to go. So I have these, I just need to read and measure this string. It came with this string. ready to go. I'm gonna turn on the laminator so I can laminate these. Just like task cards um, for arrays and that's what we are doing right now. So I figured at some point this month I want to do fun solve the rooms like this. So while that's warming up, I'm going to take out some of our fall decor. This closet was organized at the end of the year and so was that cabinet and now from back to school season and summer season, it's just been a wreck. Um, but here are little fall things I have um there are some like Halloween stuff but I'm gonna put out these cute little pumpkins these fall leaves these are actually string lights I have these linked on my Amazon storefront can put our little spider pillow over here on the rug these little pumpkins are so cute I got them from the Target dollar spot I believe or if not the dollar spot they're definitely from Target I think I'm gonna put one on my desk somewhere I don't know put one over here Maybe put these on our library. Cute. So we have the leaves over there. I don't have the batteries in it right now, so it can't light up. Okay, we are getting this laminated. I do have to print a couple more things. I got done pretty much everything I wanted to. I set the calendar for October. I got the dinosaur stuff prepped for our science lesson today. I put out some fall decor and I laminated the sheet that I wanted to laminate. Now I'm just printing a few things and then we are gonna get our day started. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I wasn't, oh my God, the lighting is terrible. I wasn't sure if this is gonna be like a daily vlog or weekly vlog, but I guess it's turning into a weekly vlog because I didn't really vlog yesterday besides the morning. So, today is Tuesday. My lovely coworkers helped me carry in 
the four pumpkins that I got from my class. Well, my mom and my grandma donated them to my classroom. Each group table is gonna get one. I think we're gonna do it tomorrow. They're going to take out all of the seeds. They'll keep track of how many seeds they specifically took out of the pumpkin, and then they're gonna make a graph with their group. We've been working on scaled picture graphs and bar graphs. I just think it's gonna be really fun and seasonal. That's really exciting. I also picked up a lot of stuff from Dollar Tree yesterday that I'll show you guys. I think my outfit for today is so cute. Just this white shirt from TJ Maxx from Marshalls and then this long skirt from Timu. It's like pleated and it's brown with white polka dots and it is so cute. I also have these earrings from Timu which are little ghosts. So getting into the fall spirit. In this Dollar Tree bag we have a bunch of the stuff for fossil day so my whole team and I are doing another like themed day. We did one in the beginning of the year. Um, if you watch my first week of school vlog, it was a book tasting. So the kids went into each classroom for 20 minutes to taste different book genres. And then we are doing a fossil day on the 13th because our science unit right now with Mr. Science is fossils. So we've been learning about that. So I got these like khaki tablecloths because I figured they kind of were the best color for this. Um, to put in my classroom and then I got my team and I these fake little hats this comes right off if you want to take it off like it pops right off um but I thought these were perfect for fossil day I got these buckets for a dollar each because in my room the activity they're gonna be doing is like there's gonna be sand and then there's gonna be little fossil pieces and they have to find the fossil pieces in the sand and put it together to form the dinosaur and I got the little dinosaur fossils from Walmart in the Halloween section actually and then I figured for fossil day I could put together a little gift basket and then do like a raffle for the kids so Dollar Tree had all this Jurassic World stuff so I'm just gonna make a little basket and it has like all this dinosaur themed stuff puzzle some markers and some crayons so it just worked out perfectly that they had a bunch of Jurassic World stuff <laughs> while we're doing fossils and then I also got this from my classroom for that day. It's just dinosaur masks. I figured there could be a photo op if there's time. Probably just my own class. I made a bunch of copies during prep, so I'm gonna staple those with my electric stapler that I love. Get those done, and then I'll pretty much be prepped through October as far as reading center workbooks and math center workbooks go. Good afternoon. Happy Wednesday. Today, I didn't vlog this morning. I was busy carrying things in and I came to work like right on time. Today is the day we are doing our pumpkin graphing activity. So I have to put tablecloths on the four group tables. I have to cut open all four of the pumpkins so that that's already done. And what they're gonna be doing today is taking out all the pumpkin seeds with their group. Each group gets their own pumpkin and they'll keep track in a cup of how many pumpkin seeds they took out. So they're just gonna take turns taking a scoop, putting it in their cup, going around their table, and then they're gonna make a scaled bar graph with their group representing how many pumpkin seeds they took out of the pumpkin. So it'll say like student one, student two, student three, student four, student five, and graph how many pumpkin seeds they took out. I think it's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be a little messy, maybe a little chaotic, but it's definitely gonna be enjoyable for them, memorable, and hopefully it helps with scaled bar graphs. That is the goal. So I wanna do like more hands-on fun things like this, just a little surprise and delight situation. It's not tied to behavior, it's just, this is the fun activity we're doing today in school. I'm wearing this cute shirt from Timu, which I have my Timu code linked down below. Um, it just says, read more books. One of my coworkers already warned me about the smell, but I'm already smelling it. I have one more pumpkin to carve, and then I'm gonna set up the tablecloths. Good morning, happy Thursday. I'm wearing my trick or teach shirt today with just like an all black outfit. I'll show you guys in the mirror in a second, but today is Thursday. It feels like it should be Friday for sure. Um, yesterday felt like Friday. Plans for today. Continuing our anchor text in reading, continuing um, finishing our rough draft. We already did all three paragraphs for our personal narrative, but now they're transferring it onto a blank piece of paper as like a clean rough draft. 
they have special today then for mind up time like SEL time we're doing a worksheet on problem solving um, and then we are doing our graph for the pumpkin activity we did yesterday so it went really well it was a little chaotic but that was the most chaotic part obviously was taking out all the seeds they counted all their seeds I have their sticky notes with their name and their seeds on it today during math they will work together to create a scaled bar graph so this is the graph paper they will be using. This is my outfit for today. The trick or teach shirt is from Amazon. I have it linked to my Amazon storefront. These black pants are from Shein last year. Um, and then these black platform sandals are from Timu. My earrings are just from H&M. And then my lanyard is Modern Marlowe. And that's the outfit for Thursday. Good morning, happy Friday. Today is picture day and I'm re-wearing an outfit from last week, but it's been over a week. It's been like a week and two days, so whatever. The reason why I'm here at 7.06 a.m. is because yesterday I went to the Fact Fluency PD um, after work, which is at four. And before I left, I was trying to move their seats around. As I'm doing that, one of my group tables completely just broke, like the leg broke off. And I look down and the leg is like completely at a 45 degree angle. So yeah, this is the situation. Um, it is a pretty old table by the looks of it, but here's the leg actually. Um, yeah, and it does not appear to be able to go back in. I tried it's just pretty broken. It is now Saturday. It is long weekend. Tonight is the craft night that my mom is doing. So I have my little craft pumpkin right there ready to go. Brendan and I went to a shoe store this morning because I wanted to get some Uggs. I already have the Tasmans from last year and I love them. I wear them all the time in the fall and winter. I really wanted like a platform shoe from Ugg, but Taz platforms though, which I think are so cute, they just don't fit me right. I got a six and I got a seven and they both just don't fit. They fall off my foot, both of them. It makes no sense. Like my foot fits in it, but it when I walk, it just completely falls off no matter like what size I try. So I got the platform ultra minis in like the classic chestnut color. They're so cute. Here they are at the store that I went to. These were 160, they're size seven, they fit. They are just literally so cute, I love them. We're already working our way into October, which is crazy, um, but it's really exciting. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up. This upcoming week is gonna be really exciting for the vlog because we're doing Fossil Day on Friday, October 13th, Friday the 13th. Each room, there's gonna be a different fossil-related activity. Um, I'm pretty sure in one of the rooms they're like making fossils with like clay in my room I got these little dinosaur fossils. They're obviously fake from Walmart They were actually in the Halloween section and they like come apart and you can like make the dinosaur So I'm going to take it apart put it in a bucket that I got from Dollar Tree um, filled with sand so that the kids have to search for all the pieces like a paleontologist and then put it together to make the dinosaur so there will be like different stations within my room as well so that if we have time the group can switch to the next one and do it again so it's gonna be really exciting and some of my kids have been stalking my channel and watching my videos so if you're watching this now the surprise is ruined, but it's fine. Um, it's just gonna be a really exciting day and I love playing activities like this with my team. It is so fun. And then we're also doing a spooky readathon on Halloween, October 31st, which is gonna be a Tuesday. But that is the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.